Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a bit more Tin Can. So we're going to go back in. Um, I'm going to jump onto... What sandbox do you have a stroll in the pod? Other oh, systems. Yeah, right. Okay. We'll have a quick look in sandbox. If only to do a bit of a skim through the, uh, through the manual. Uh, because it seems to some people calling for it. One thing I will just say, you know, if we're all so inclined to this, this sort of gameplay, you got to understand that everyone does it differently. And also, I'm probably a YouTuber first before I'm actually a technical engineering type these days, right? So I learn by doing. I get in there and I experiment and fiddle and all that sort of stuff. And we had a look at the, uh, we've had a look at the manual throughout, but it also strikes me that it's a little bit obtuse on purpose. It sort of gives you broad strokes of what components do and all that, but it's not actually the be all and end all from at least the first episode, if I recall. But we'll have a look and we'll double check because I want to keep everybody happy. But some people are sort of rallying me to, you know, get back in the manual a bit more. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'll humor that side. But uh, but in my defense, you know, I'm having a lot of fun doing it the way I'm doing it. I'm learning a lot anyway. So, I mean, that's not really going to change. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I'm not playing it the way you want. Um, sorry, but not sorry. All right, so we'll go in the sandbox. Can I skip that? Oh, I can. And we're going we're gonna to sit down. We're going to have a little bloody... We're going to go over the reading material that I set you for homework. You know, that old, that old chestnut. All right, where is this? Let's have a squizoodle. And figure it out. Also, we've got a dev or two skulking in the... Oh, it's only a single dev, I think. Skulking in the comments as well. So you can check through the videos and that. He's actually given some pretty interesting feedback, especially around how the atomic pile works. Um, not that I look too hard into RTGs, but what I I was imagining that the atomic pile was a... Uh, it was just an isotope in constant decay. You know, like unregulated, but not super dangerously large or anything like that. So that's sort of where I was coming from, but it actually seems like it's a controlled reaction. So you can change the inputs to to turn it up or let it loose or calm it down sort of thing. All right, let's get some good light here, shall we? Oh, Jesus. Shall we read it like that? No. All right, hang on. So we're going to flip through here. So these are all these error codes, and as the, we'll cross them when it comes to it. Now, we covered this. It's damage proof, right? Quick information. Now, I'll zip through this, but I'll at least put it all on screen. So if people do really, you know, if you really do want to sort of scrub it yourself, you can come back through the video because you'll have the power of the rewind button, which I don't have right now. Um, you know, I want to make this watchable and entertaining nonetheless and still cover this. I think I'm doing all right. All right. So atomic pile temperature, we've got that, right? So we've got the target. Red is the current temperature and, and blue is the ideal, is the target. So like in that picture, it's overdoing it. So it's probably going to heat the cabin more in that situation, right? Blue needles, how much power are you producing more? Both need to be aligned for ideal power. Yeah, cool. Pot atmosphere temperature indicates current. Yeah, yeah, okay. Breathability levels. If it drops below 70%, act quickly for loss of consciousness because there's a, re there's a red section. Okay, okay. So it's red at 80, but they reckon 70%. You should really be shitting bricks. Um, also, there's been a discussion on the pressure regulator. Remember, I, I turn out bloody six videos a day on this and the second channel. So, I only skim the comments. But uh, apparently, it's cycling the nitrogen through the whole system. So, the nitrogen's lowering, but it's also drawing the nitrogen in. And probably it's probably scrubbing the O2 and CO2 out. So, this is essentially a nitrogen cycle that will maintain a constant pressure. As far as I understood it, again, I only skimmed over that, but there was a bit of a thread starting. Um, okay, so breathability, let's go. What's this? Okay, so these are the other things on here. Um, atmospheric condition indicators allowed you to how much oxygen. Yeah, 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 we understand this. Please be reminded the ideal levels at pressure of one bar as follows. Okay, well, that's good. 21%. So that's not bad there. That's, that's pretty much bang on. I thought we were in sandbox. It's all right. I'll just die. I don't mind. We want to read the book. All right. Less than 6%. Nitrogen 73. Main generator produces uh, required power necessary for the operation of the pod systems. Um, 
Yeah, okay, energy is generated by... I'll just close all this up because we're going to... Let's pull down the main generator while we're having a bit of a squiz. All right, get the flashlight on. Uh, energy is generated by an atomic pile located at the center. The atomic pile produces heat, which is then transferred into energy by the generator. Yeah, 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 okay. The hotter the pile is, the more energy that it produces. The green bars indicate the amount of energy currently needed for an online si for online systems, right? Yeah, good. So we go start turning shit off. We're going to reduce the draw. Like, for example, well, I mean, it says 15 kilowatts. I thought I can't die in this mode. Did I not pick sandbox? Well, there you go. Look, that reduced the draw significantly anyway. Um, right, so am I, am I going to die or not? Or am I just going to breathe? Let, let's see if I die. Um, uh, it can oh, it can take some of the time for the atomic pole to heat up or cool down. Always make sure the systems are properly equipped with power transformers and fuses to avoid damaging them with improper energy levels. Right. Processor inside the generator stabilizes temperature. Uh, the processor inside the generator stabilizes, and we keep treating the whole system as a generator, yeah. Stabilizes temperature to a proper levels depending on system consumption. A damaged processor can stop the atomic pile from being properly cooled. Okay. Now where's the processor? It's uh it's like a strip looking thing, isn't it? So it'd be that. No, no, that's the transformer. Um Power connector. Piss this off. Atomic shield. CRT monitor. Power transformer. Am I missing something here? I, I could be looking straight at it. Power transformer. That's a fuse up there, isn't it? That long, high capacity fuse. Data connector. Yeah, because if I open up uh, logic components to this, that's the, where's the, see, that's what a processor looks like here, right? Am I just going fucking insane? Oh, large processor. Oh, here it is. It's tucked in there. Dude, I can barely move because I'm dying. I've died. Okay. What is going on? I, uh, I thought I was in sandbox. The only thing that can have a stroll through the pod and play with the systems. The only thing that can kill you here is yourself. Right, so I suppose what it's saying is that there's no um, hazards or anything like that. That's fine. We'll just go again. We'll continue the reading because, like I said, enough people have asked for it. Let's cover it off. All right? And it's interesting. It's interesting if nothing else. Okay, cool. So it is in there. It was, it was just difficult to see. Continuing on. Continuing on. Did we cover everything? Yeah. Damage pro risk of severe radiation poisoning of the atomic piles handled without proper safe equipment. So we can crack the shell, and people pointed out that's a fucking bad idea, but why can we crack the shell? I assume there's a scenario where maybe we need to. I'm not sure. Um, oxygen generator. Releases oxygen in the atmosphere. Green bars monitor indicate the ideal levels of oxygen. Yeah, 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 which is, which is that, right? We figured all this out already. Warning, required oxygen levels will vary depending on atmospheric pressure. At the standard pressure of one bar, it's 20%. The higher, the lower ideal level will be. Um, oh, that's interesting. Can we manually set atmospheric pressure levels? I don't think we can. But if we had a situation where maybe we overpressurize the cabin, maybe there's a hazard we haven't encountered. But maybe we could force it to a low, to a higher pressure, the lower the ideal oxygen level would be. Like if we're having oxygen pump problems, say the pump's fucked and we can only get so much oxygen flow, then if we forced the pressure of the system up. Anyway, I know I'm hypothesizing, but I don't know how we do that other than like just, we couldn't turn the machine off, can we? I could take the filter out, right? I suppose, no, 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 I wouldn't be able to turn this off. Hmm, I'm sure, well, I'm sure someone will think of an idea. It's also important. At point three bar, the ideal oxygen level is 100%. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that'd be lower pressure. Also important to note that an excessive amount of oxygen in the atmosphere can be a fire hazard and may cause 
hyperoxia, right? Check the medical check the medical manual for more information. I don't think there is a medical manual. I feel like maybe that's something being added at a later date. Maybe some of you will check the Discord. I haven't. Again, this is just a, another game like all the others that I play. Um, CO2 scrubber. Yep, cool. When they are stored in a bottle. Green bars, we know this. Maximum level of CO2, 6%. Okay, we know this. Pressure, pressure stabilizer maintains internal atmospheric pressure with the pod. Heal of one bar, just like on Earth, by injecting or withdrawing nitrogen. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's like a dual cycle. Right? Warning, pressure is determining factor for breathability. It's also important to note that excessive pressure levels can compromise the structural integrity of the escape pod. Right, so if we overpressurize, we could have a problem. Okay, sure. Temperature manager. Provide, and now that's this over. Let's piss this off. That's this over here. Temperature manager provides heat and cold in the pod to regulate atmospheric temperature. Yes. Heat is produced from electricity while cold is produced... Thanks to a liquid nitrogen bottle in the system. It's important that most of the pod heat is produced by the atomic pile. Yes. Yeah, but this actually does have a heating cool uh, coil in it, we kind of established. Shut the fuck up. We have a look at this. The liquid nitrogen bottle is full. Presumably we can run out of it, right? I don't really know where the waste nitrogen goes. I don't know if it goes anywhere. Light system, indicate over here. They allow for proper operation of lights on board. They divide into main lights and emergency lights. Emergency lights require a lot less power and are equipped with an emergency battery. They will turn on immediately if the main lights cannot operate properly in case of power loss. So if we click these off. Oh, you know how I've been scrapping this emergency light system? Maybe... Maybe we'd be better off scrapping the main light system. I don't know. Emergency lights require a lot less power and equipped with an emergency battery. Yeah, okay. In case of power loss. Gravity generator uses a complex system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please note that once on the battery, the system may lower its general consumption and gravity levels to maximize the length of operation. In case of insufficient power, uh, power failures of the main processor, gravity might become unstable. Or either too low or too high. Interesting. Main computer, which is over here, displays general status of all systems of pod and provides understandable errors of each system monitor. Without the main computer, error codes in each system will require you to check the... Right. Hang on. Okay, hang on. So if we were to turn this back on, it's going to have a shitload of error codes, or error errors, but if we turn the main computer off, it's going to send error codes. Is that what you're saying? Ah, okay. That makes much more sense. That's cool. All right. So the, that's pretty handy. Is that the main com computer error code? Yep. Cool. Oh, I've out loud. Fast battery charger. Draws very high amount of power and will therefore lower power of other systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we covered that. Beware. Unprotected systems can be overloaded when removing the battery. Someone mentioned that. Thank you. Um, so you probably got off turning it off. Airlock's the main access to the escape pod. So open and make sure that you are docked properly, then pull the handle to undock. Once on dock, you can simply pull the door towards the inside of the pod. And then I've got too much bloody hypoxia to fucking read that. How much more have we got? Oh my god. That's enough. That's enough reading for today, team. Um, so I'll meet you halfway. We'll read some of the manual and then we'll play a, a run and then we'll read some more later. But I think we covered it quite a bit. I think that that should make some people happier. But like I said, it is just little vague dot points. A lot of it we figured it out ourselves. Uh, if anything, it sort of can even in hindsight, like it's like, okay, knowing that there was a heater in the temperature regulation system would have been helpful so yes reading that would have been good but i still would have been curious because i have that engineering mind as most of you do to understand the system as to why it's happening to understand the atomic pile but anyway off we bloody go hardcore the only way to play we'll skip this because we're already uh we're already in full swing into the episode all right let's try and make a good showing shall we Immediately, I want to check these. That's sort of half full, right? And that's full full.
And that's empty. Collision alert, brace for impact, okay. And you know what, we'll just empty that now while we have the time. Cool. Pod atmospheric temperature. Now, I don't know, do we want to overheat the the pod early? You know what I mean? Like, to run the... Oh, jeez. Wow, that moved me. That actually moved me across the... What the fuck? Why is that sparking? Error list. Hang on, we need to look in there. Oh, shit. The data connector on the atomic pile, right? Alright, bad data. Um, we'll pull the emergency lights first, right? There'll be a data coupler in here. Um, where is it? What am I... Wait, no, there won't be a data coupler in here. There won't be a data component because... Uh, I still want to fix that. Hang on, are we getting other errors across the board? Error list. Not just yet. Okay, um... I stop panicking, Scarlet. It's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to start just pulling shit out of this. That's turned off. It's a transformer. We're going to scrap it, right? We're going to scrap the transformer. Right? Dis dismantle. Current parts. Right? Has that worked? That's worked. Okay, cool. We're going to ditch that on the floor. Um, no. Um, we're going to pull the data con cable from this. We have to turn off the pile, but that's okay. Oh, wow. All right, yeah, it turns everything off. Um, I should have identified where the bloody data connection is. Power transformer. Why can't I see it? Shit. I should have thought forward about this. Hang on. Well, I try my best. You start stressing out. Is that it there on the side? Buzzer? Buzzer? You know what? We're turning this back on. Come on. There we go. Um, I would rather pull the data cable out of something else. Bad caution alarm on bat. Yeah, they're all on battery. That's fine. Um, I'm I'm gonna pull it out of. Mm, what else do we have data for? Temperature, temperature, temperature regulator. We can handle that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Cool. We're gonna pull that. No, we're gonna inspect it first so I can find the data cable for that. Buzzer. Well, buzzer's always in it. They add it. There's a data connector there. Now, where's the data connector for you, sir? Uh-oh. Um. High capacity fuse. Power transformer. Oh, no, that's it there. That's it there. Okay, that's cool. Okay, we're going to turn this off. Right? We're going to pull out the data connector from that. We're going to turn you off. We're going to right-hand the... Fuck me. Did I just drop the, the... The game just knocked that out of me hand, you bastard. All right, hang on. Right hand. Left hand. We're going to left hand that. Fuck this. We'll just drop this. Right hand. Uh, turn this back on. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on. Give me gravity. Give me gravity. All right, we got gravity. All right. I just need... Where the fuck did the other data connector go? Oh, there it is, there it is. Hang on. All right, pick that up. Oh. Stop knocking it out of me hand! All right. Close. Repair. Repair in progress. No need to repair. Okay. Cool. We'll put that back in. 
Come on. Where, to put, where the fuck did I pull it out? I can't even remember. There, there. All right, fine. Temperature management. We'll turn that back on. We're getting warnings over here. What's going on? Oh! On battery. Bad master alarm. Empty bottle. Hang on. We can deal with that. Let's pull the bottle. To my left hand. Right hand. All right. Bad power. This has got a dirty filter. A full bottle. All right. What's going on here? Bad caution alarm. Low pump, dirty filter. Dirty filter. Low pump upsets me a lot. All right. Bad fuse. Jesus, we're getting absolutely fisted this round. All right, hang on, hang on. Low battery, bad master alarm. Bad master alarm. Hang on, what's going on with you? Are you at least fucking happy now? Yeah, all right, he seems pretty happy. Can I put you back up, please? All right, now we don't have main lights. Why is that? Start. I really want my lights back. Why are you beeping? Bad power transmission. How, how are we going? 21% oxygen. I think we're okay. Right? 20%. Alright, so... And 6%. Who's fucking beeping? It's you. Bad caution alarm, low pump. Oh my god. Hang on, my dude's breathing bad. What did I miss? Pod atmo temperature. That's not good. We're overheating. Breathability. Did I not turn? I didn't turn this back on. Oh shit, it's 50 degrees. <laughs> <gasps> oh no. Bad fuse. The fuse tripped. I, I know there's a million things to deal with. I just need to... That's cooling. Okay, that's fine. We're cooling. You know what's happened? I think because I've let the pole run up without cooling. Does that make sense? Maybe I'm generating too much power? No, no, no. I'm not generating power. It could just be straight up heat damage that's happened. Bad master alarm. Bad fuse. All right, um, let's pull a fuse. Well, this will be a clean fuse, right? So we should be able to open. Where's the fuse? There it is at the back. So we turn this off. We right click, left click, turn it on. All right, that's dealt with. Okay, this fuse can sit on the floor. All right, now, the, the problem is I've pulled my lighting system out, but also this system's just not working full stop and we don't have a data readout. So, power connector, right? That makes sense, maybe? That's, are you definitely off? No. Wait, does the button, button in means on, right? Yeah, okay. Turn you off. 
Come on. Power connector. Repair. Well, the fact that it needs repairs is probably a good indication, right? Full can. Bad fuse. Alright. Cold nebula shit. Come on. Go turn this off. I try and get the jump on that heat. Oh come on, man. Maybe we go with the emergency lighting system. Stop. What's missing from that? What did I pull out? I pulled a transformer out, did I not? Yes. All right, let's... Oh, fuck, I've lost gravity. Well, that's not good. <clears throat> okay. Was that all I pulled out? All right, yes. Yes. Okay. Doc, yeah, give me that victory music. Let's go. All right, now what's going on here? Atomic pile temp. Yeah, but I turned I turned the temperature regulator off. I just want to make sure is this off? Stop. That's off. That's off. That's off. CO2 cycler. Shit, let's turn the gravity off. Oh, it's going to give me a push by the look of it. Off. How are we going? How are we going? Okay. We've got a lot more draw than there. We're, we're good. We're warm. We're still warm. That's okay. I don't like that cracking sound. Could you just not game? I'm tempted to... I'm going to turn the whole logic computer off, to be honest. Oh, don't... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to fix that. 20... CO2. CO2 needs scrubbing. Um, why, why do we not have monitors at all? It's still working. I thought if I turn that off, we lose the warnings. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I know what to do here. It's okay. Give me a handle, please. Give me a handle. Wait. Okay. All right, this is slightly less full. We need to turn. We need to turn that back on. Uh. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Handle. Blow. Blow. Definitely on. All right, hang on. Let's look at this. O2 is low. 11's low. 11's low. We're out of oxygen. Where'd the tank go? I dropped it. Filter. Oh, there's no filter for oxygen, of course. Is that working? I don't think it's working. Oh, no. Alright, um... Come on, booby. Come on, baby. We can do it. C 
CO2's climbing. O2's not going anywhere. Nitrogen, 10, 16%. Okay. Um, I think it might be the CO2 actually that's getting me. It's full. It's full again. We're, we're drawing power on this now. That's good news. That's good news. Oxygen's coming up. Oxygen's coming up. CO2's coming down. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, right. The, the pile is on in good draw. We're too cold. We're too cold. Um, uh, I have an idea. I'm gonna pull the bloody transformer out of this thing. Right? Maybe? I'm too cold. Is that why I'm puffing and panting? Is it because of the cold? Usually I start freezing up. No, 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 good. It's, it's gotta be the cold. It's gotta be the cold. Everything else is fine. All right, we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna turn this off. The whole space is gonna shit itself. Right, we're gonna pull the power transformer out. What happens if I turn it back on now? Come on, function without a transformer, do it. Um, wait, hang on, what am I doing? What am I doing? I've turned this machine off, I need to turn it on! This is the same mistake I made last time! You idiot, turn this off. Of course, because it's got a heater in it! Sorry, I'm in this mindset that I don't need- that it doesn't have a heater. I apologize, team. Oh my god, we got there, we got there, we got there. We got there. Yeah, sorry, like I said, fundamentally I'm having a hard time shaking that that's a heater. I'm not against it, it's just whatever, you know, sometimes your brain just doesn't make the connection. Alright, on battery, bad fuse. We'll turn that off for a little bit. All right, we'll take, let's assess. We, we're good for draw. We're losing temperature, that's okay. co 2 creeping up again, even though it's not terrible. And that's because we've got a full bottle. Oh my god, the gravity thing's so hard, because it's not like you can use spacebar to go up and down. That's not good. Alright, CO2's going back down. We're still freezing. We're still in the ice nebula, aren't we? Is that what's going on? Or maybe not. What do I start pairing systems back up? Not that we've got much off. Yeah. 
It's overdrawing at the moment. Oh my god. Alright, we're good. It's evened out. Okay, cool. That's one thing I need to pay attention to is that we got through the cold. Alright, what's going on here? Low battery. Dad master alarm. Um, I mean, what can we pull the alarm out of? Because we kind of would like to keep that master alarm if we can help it, right? Jesus, this is some struggle street. Alright, I'm going to turn that off. I'm taking the master alarm out of that. How are our vitals? We're getting too hot. Bad fuse, bad caution alarm. So that must have tripped the fuse and I didn't notice because the alarm didn't go. Low battery. Um... Emergency lights have a battery, don't they? Yeah, but I don't want to pull it. Main lights don't. Bad fuse. Current parts, required parts. I'm pretty sure I already stripped this, but I'll double check. This fuse is probably good, right? Let's go. Temperature's good. Drawer is good. CO2's coming down. Nitrogen's going back up. Bad power transmission. Sort of just trying to fix one thing at a time. Bad caution alarm. <laughs> Same problem. Repair. Required parts. Bugger. Oh, that's not good. Hang on. Bad master. Low battery. Pile is not going to light that. Electromagnetic activity, beware of surges. Oh, shit. A 
Ah, shit, I dropped it. Oh, we got gravity back. Everything's doing okay so far. Oh my goodness. Fuck, why did you say anything, dickhead? Oh shit, I've lost- oh, we've lost everything. Um... Alright, if it's off... Hang on, if that's- if that was off, that's a fuse that's tripped. Right? Stop. Um... High capacity fuse? Uh, what do we do about that? I don't. Do other high capacity fuses exist in this game? Power transformer. I don't suppose there's a. Is there a battery component to the repair station? There is, there is, there's a battery in the repair station. Okay. Okay, um... I need to repair this immediately, right? Um... Well, actually, no, 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 the, the fuse would have tripped. Hang on, the fuse would have tripped. It's not necessarily the fuse. It's the, um... It's the power connector, large power connector. Um... Power connector. I don't think that'll work. No, it won't work. Okay, that's fine. Um, stop panicking. Um, okay, we can we can fix this. Um, I need to. I need to repair that. I know that I have a battery semi charged in here. Um. Come on, come on, come on. Um. There's not much I can do about the temperature. Large battery. Fuck. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Alright. Oh no, look, it looks drained. This is, uh, I don't, I don't know how I get out of this. I don't know. I don't think I can. I can't, I can't restart the pile. And I don't have any battery. Like, unless the battery charger works. Oh. My frost effect went. That's got to be a glitch. Come on, I'm constantly trying to put the torch back on. Give me my torch. Yeah, look, the battery charge is not going to draw anything. Yeah. Oh, what happened here? Bronze! Look at that. 29 minutes, 50. Number five, look at that. So, as best I can understand, team, now be gentle with your debriefs. Remember, I'm just some spud YouTuber that enjoys a bit of an engineering challenge, right? I've got an engineering background for sure. But, um, you know, I don't really have a lot of time for the Warriors that, you know, don't take in consideration that you flash spinning while you're trying to do a commentary while you're recording and all that sort of stuff. So everything goes out the window. So I think I did all right for someone stressing out. But in that situation, there was a component that had blown in the pile. The fuse would have tripped it. So I'm not certain that it was the fuse that was the problem. So I think it would have been... Well, they said there was surge damage and surge problems, so I truly think it would be the power connector. At least that's the first thing that you'd do. But that power connector is unique to that system, so I can't interchange it. So I'd have to repair it, right? But in order to repair it, I would need a battery because the repair station 
you can battery run. So I jump the repair station onto a battery and um, and do that uh, and uh, and repair that. So that's what I was trying to do, if that wasn't clear. Um, I'm curious what people have to say, what their thoughts and takeaways were there uh, for that. I uh, almost wonder if you want to try and source a spare battery at that point, because... It, yeah, that was a pretty bad fail point that I don't think I could come back from. You know, you know what I mean? I can't think of a scenario. I don't think there's any way to generate power otherwise. I'm not sure. Anyway, anyway. That was fun. That was, that was a good run. Bit of a longer episode, but I'm sure people uh, kind of want that. And we did a bit of a look at the book. Let me know what else you want to cover off. Like I said, keep it polite. Um, we're all friends here. You know, we're all interested in the same game, so we're all on the same page. But um, I'll be happy to have a look at the manual a little bit more on the next episode, so we can sort of look at the back half of it. Um, and, uh, and yeah, look, ask your questions in the comments section as well, because like I said, the devs have been skulking. Um, as well, so you might actually be able to catch them and get some answers too. Alright team, thanks again for joining me, we might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.